Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Man, I'm excited about what I have the opportunity to show you guys today. And I'm kind of excited about the fact that I think I'm the only guy on YouTube that has access to this stuff. So it's always fun to get an exclusive. And here we are with an exclusive first look at the Klecker Knives and Tools Stowaway Tools. Now, if you follow Klecker Knives and Tools, you know about the Stowaways probably already. Um, they re release all this stuff, I think at the, was it the Outdoor Expo? I might have that wrong, but I think that's correct. Anyway, like the Clacks, they are now in the middle of a Kickstarter campaign for all of this stuff right here. And so you can find this over at kickstarter.com, um, and I'll have a link down below to the actual Kickstarter page. But they've already, I think it was in just a couple of days they got fully funded for this. And uh, they still have two weeks to go approximately but at the time that I'm uh, shooting this video. So it, it's fully backed and it's you know still available. You can still get in on this. It's really unusual, neat, and cool. And I'm going to go through all this and explain kind of what it is. So the idea here is that when we try to take things out the door, all the things we need, we end up with loaded pockets. I do. I don't know about you, but I've got pockets always full of stuff. Friends of mine are like, I hate having lots of stuff in my pockets. I'm like, I've always got lots of stuff in my pockets. And um, it would be really cool if we could have some sort of a way to minimize how we carry our things. So we've got sort of the minimal version of what we need in a package that we're already going to take out the door anyway. Particularly, we're talking about cell phones. This is a dummy iPhone 6 right here that is on loan to me from uh, the Kleckers. Uh, to look at and to sort of demo with all of this stuff. And this is the iPhone 6 uh, stowaway case that they've developed uh, for use with all these tools. I'm going to, again, I'm going to show you how all that works together. But uh, here's the package for it. How's, that's how it comes brand new. You've got a little bit of, um, we've got a few clips right here, and I'll show you how those all work. But those are basically, these are what go over the tops of all the tools and make them so that they actually fit into these little slots right here. And I know you're thinking, wait a second, if you're going to put this over your phone like that and then put some metal tools straight through here, aren't you going to scrape the back of your phone kind of like this dummy's been scratched up? Yeah, you will unless you use the included <laughs> protector. So no problem there. You just slap that on the back of your phone, very thin, it feels very strong too. That's definitely going to protect the finish of your phone. Um, and that will protect the back of your phone as you slide your tools in and out of these little sleeves right here. But that's it. That is the whole thing, basically. And the tools themselves work with the phone or the phone case, but not only the phone case. There's also a number of key carriers out there uh, that these were, will be compatible with. Among those, I think some of them will fit onto this right here, the key bar. You guys are familiar with that, branded Klecker knives. And so some of those will work with that, some with other things, but uh, they will all be able to fit here on the iPhone 6. And I think that they're going to be working on other phones in the future. Don't hold me to that. Don't hold them to that. But uh, certainly would be cool if they came out one for the I came out with one for the iPhone 5 series because I still carry a 5 and I still like it. Um, but anyway, maybe we're just moving to the 6 from now on. But anyway, let's get into some of these tools and kind of talk about how they work. Now, a couple of these are still prototypes, so we can't really count on them to be perfect fit and finish wise. Again, they are still definitely in the um, the Kickstarter stage of all of this. You know, it's, it's sort of in the prototyping stage. A lot of this has gone into production as they kind of finalize and perfect these different tools. They go into production and they come on these cards and you can buy them and you can uh, you're, you're ready to get them and, and, and put them on your stuff right now. Well, not necessarily right now. Like I said before, I'm kind of getting an exclusive look at this stuff. It's not quite available uh, for most of us yet, but that's how they'll all come. And so eventually they will all kind of be on these cards, I suppose, and then you'll be able to uh, buy the individual ones you want and incorporate them with your phone case like so or your key carrier or whatever it is you choose to do. I think they're also offering uh, a certain type of carabiner that they're still sort of getting patents back for, but they are going to have a, uh, a carabiner that will be able to hold all these tools as well. So if you choose to carry them in that way, that'll work just as well. Anyway, very, very cool system as I'm seeing it so far. So let's look at a few of the tools that they offer right now. What uh, we have here is a pocket knife. Look at that tiny little pocket knife. 
Look at that, and it's got the same locking mechanism as the Klecker Slice has, which is very cool. It's a back lock like lock, and obviously not exactly, but it operates in a similar way to a back lock from the user's perspective, where you just press on this spot right here, and then that depresses or lifts this up, releasing the blade to fold. This is not, again, this one is here a, a, a prototype, so the, the fitting on it is not perfect, but uh, it's gonna be, uh, as it goes into production, it will, of course, fit into the back of there as well. And they all come with, or you can get caps for all of these, and these caps kind of slip over the top like that, making it so that um, they're much, much easier to sort of slide in and out and actually draw from there. And that's really sort of how this is presented as you open your package. You see these little tabs of cardboard here slip into the tabs, uh, the recesses there on the phone case, demonstrating how it's all supposed to work. And that's what that is. So what else we have here? We've got tweezers. Check those out. Nicely machined there at the tip. Oh man, those are good looking tweezers. Finely finished as well. Looks like they're kind of uh, bee blasted or something like that. Yeah, these are really nice looking tweezers. Um, and the operation of them is very nice. I love how simple they are. Look at that. Just a little, you know, just kind of grasp them right here on those little rasps or sort of jimping that's milled into uh, or uh, sort of machined into the uh, the metal right there and helps you sort of get a nice grip for whatever work it is you need to do. I love that. So cool, a little sharp end on it for getting the really fine stuff and then sort of this flat for getting whatever else you need. Yeah, those are well done tweezers. Well done, and let's look at what the cap, how the caps go on that. Here's a package of caps that come uh, with the phone case. Looks like we get a few extra perhaps. And that's so that you can, as you're collecting your little, um, your, your stowaway tools, you, you might have, you don't just necessarily have four of them, but you could have six or 10 or however many you wanna get. Um, and they're all, you know, they're available to you whenever you need to use them. So let's see if we can figure out how this goes on. I wanna say it goes on this way. If I mess it up, I'll mess it up. But I suppose you push it in like that and then it looks like it just slips. Yeah, it does. A little ramp there that I just kinda of press it on and it slips through, I'm gonna say, about like that. Yep, that sounds about right. And then I would slip that in like so. And there you go. And that would just stay there in my iPhone case until I need to use it. And then when it comes time, slide it out like so and use it. So tweezers, like really robust, tough tweezers, ready to go with you all the time. Super cool, freaking awesome. Getting so excited about tweezers. What about a comb? I don't have a lot of hair on my head to mess with, but it is kind of nice to be able to comb my beard once in a while. That is a beautiful comb, if I've ever seen a beautiful comb. And let's slip a cap on that, see how that one looks as well, when we uh, incorporate that into the, how do we do it on the other one? Let's have a look real quick. We slipped it that way, so yeah, all right. So that would be the way we want to do it, with the uh, little hook down like that, it sounds. So we'll do this, slip it on, these do come back off, by the way, and uh, the Kleckers made a video, Glenn Klecker made a video explaining how that's done, so I'll reference that as well. But you basically just press on this on the inside using like a, uh, a little tool or something to kind of relieve the pressure there and then slide it off. Not much to it, but uh, that's how that works. And so here goes the comb. So I got my comb ready. I got my tweezers. What else? Let's get the stowaway wrench in there. There's a stowaway wrench and the bits and the uh, the sizes are all specced out there for what you're able to do. Super cool. Let's get this guy on here. Stick that in. So I got my wrench now. And lastly, the scissors, which I think are also kind of at a prototype stage, but look at those. Aren't those cool? That's all it is. That's all you do. Let's see if they work. Let's check them out. Yep. <laughs> so cool. Oh man, I really dig like awesome tools, you know, that are just just cool and convenient. And I admire guys like, uh, like Glenn and these, you know, really brilliant uh, engineers that are able to put this kind of stuff together. I don't know how to do it, but I'm glad somebody does. And they'll slip in there just like that. Oh man, 
Look at that. Can you imagine just four of your most essential, most desired tools with you everywhere you go? Because let's face it, guys. Yeah, maybe your wallet is one of those things you never leave the house without. Maybe your keys are one of those things you never leave the house without. But nowadays, it's absolutely true that you have your phone with you wherever you go. That's true of me, true of my wife, almost everybody I know right now. It's got their phone with them all the time. If you can have your phone and a few really cool, really convenient, really well made and designed essential tools on you also all the time, ah, that's a sweet deal. So again, check the description down below for the Kickstarter page where you can get in on it right now. Again, still two weeks as of the shooting of this video left in that Kickstarter so you can still get all this stuff or whatever the packages are and you can see it on the Kickstarter for a really good deal right now. Now the prices jump up a little bit after that, but it's still gonna be a pretty sweet package and uh, really nothing else like it anywhere. And that's it. Thanks to Glenn Klecker and Klecker Knives for uh, shipping this stuff to me post haste so I could show it off to you guys. Some of the stuff will definitely be going back to them, but uh, I might be able to hang on to one or two pieces here. I'm not really sure, but uh, something might get lost in the mail, so to speak. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching on the Late Boy Scout. We'll see you on the next one.